Okay, this following segment is sponsored by Maryland Oncology Hematology. February is National Cancer Prevention Awareness Month, and the staff at Maryland Oncology Hematology want to give everyone the information they need to prevent cancer. I spoke to Dr. Nicholas DeMonico about what you need to know to stay healthy. Dr. DeMonico, it's so great to get to meet you and to hear a little bit about your journey. Um, how did you get to where you are and helping people with treating cancer? Uh, well, well, first I wanna say thank you for, for having us on uh, today uh, and during uh, Cancer Prevention Month. Um, I joined this practice in 2006. Uh, we are Maryland Oncology Hematology and we have 13 locations around Maryland, but I see patients in PG County. So I see patients in our offices in Lanham and Clinton and Brandywine. Um, I did not set out to be a cancer doctor, um, but one thing that happened when I was going through my training in the early 2000s, um, there was just an explosion in improvements in cancer treatment. And what was happening is that these new drugs were coming out. We had chemotherapy, um, traditional chemotherapy. We still use it. it. It still helps many patients, but we also have targeted therapies. And what, what happened is you, the, people could design uh, an antibody in a lab and you can give it to patients with lymphoma and see them get better. Wow. or design a pill that was uh, targeting a certain mutation for lung cancer and you could see their scans improve. Wow. And that was just fascinating. Yeah, um, I know this is very passionate for you. It's, it's a big part of your life. When it comes to cancer and talking about prevention, are there any sort of standard screening tests that you would recommend for people who are trying to prevent ever getting cancer? Well, most people know about mammograms. Right. So okay. we typically say to start mammograms uh, at age 40 or at least by age 50. Um, people typically know about colon cancer screening. So colonoscopy testing is very effective. And there's also a new test that can be done at home on a stool sample. And if the results are favorable, you might be able to skip the colonoscopy. Um, women should stay on schedule with their gynecologist to do pap smears. Um, the guidelines for PSA testing are a little bit of a gray area. And what we say is that men should talk with their doctors about the pros and cons of, of PSA testing to screen for prostate cancer. And finally, we recommend CT scans of the chest for patients with a smoking history, because mm. that has been proven to uh, pr prevent lung cancer. Okay, I know some people also get nervous when a family member maybe has had cancer, it's kind of seemed to have run in their family. If you are concerned that maybe this is part of your family history, what can you do about those concerns? Well, we know a lot more now about cancer genetics. And if you have a concern because you were diagnosed with cancer at a younger age, or if you have a concern that cancer runs in your family, you can see a genetic counselor. Um, we have several doctors in MOH who have gone through a specific training program to offer that service. And what that, how that would work is you would meet with a genetic counselor. They would talk about your personal cancer history, um, talk about patients in your family, um, people in your family who have been diagnosed with cancer um, and decide whether and which uh, genetic tests should be done, get the testing done and then have another meeting and go over the results with you. Okay. And if you have an abnormality on these genetic tests, then there may be some additional screening recommendations to lower your risk in the future. Okay, all right, and then real quick to like kind of end this on a high note, is there anything that we can be doing to help decrease that risk of getting cancer in our everyday lives? Well, n no discussion about cancer prevention would be complete if we didn't talk about quitting smoking. Mm -hmm. So 
for any of your viewers who smoke cigarettes, um, that's the single best thing you can do to lower your risk of getting cancer. We have a lot of tools to help people, including medications that are available. Um, avoiding sun exposure, uh, so protective clothing and sunscreen when you're out in the sun. Um, another uh, cancer prevention is the HPV vaccine. And so this is good information for parents. Um, it's typically recommended for kids around age 11 or 12, but it can be given between 9 and 26. Dr. Monaco, thank you for all of those tips and all of the advice. We appreciate it today. Thanks very much. For more information and to schedule an appointment, visit MarylandOncology.com.